Hello, my name is Andrew Mays and I run the Microplastics Research Group at the University of East Anglia. Microplastics are any small pieces of plastic less than 5 millimetres in size and typically they come from the breakdown of larger plastic objects or from materials that are manufactured at a micro scale such as clothing microfibers. Microplastics are found in all kinds of environments all over the world and there's increasing concern that they may be harmful to many different kinds of organisms. Currently, it's very difficult to test for microplastics and it's very expensive to measure them. In my research group, we've developed some new methodology that allows you to measure microplastics much more quickly and cheaply than you can using conventional methodology. Thanks to funding through the UK government, in a Global Research Translation Award, we've been able to assemble some analytical toolkits to allow you to analyse microplastics in all kinds of different samples, from fresh water to marine sediments and even domestic products. Along with the analytical toolkits, we've also developed this video guide, which will help you to understand how to use the equipment effectively to measure the microplastics in your samples. The technical sections of this guide are presented by Dr. Yet Yin He from University of Malaysia, Terengganu. I'll hand you over to her now in the Microplastics Research Lab to take you through the procedure. Hello, my name is Yet Yin He. I'm currently on my Global Challenges Research Fellowship at the University of East Anglia, working on sedimentary microplastic in Dr. Mayer's group. In the next few minutes, I will be presenting you a how-to guide to help you in analyzing sample for microplastic. I hope you find the next following instructions are clear and helpful. If you have any comments and queries, please contact me through the supplies contact information at the end of the video. Microplastic analysis is challenging because unknown microplastic particles could be everywhere, for example, airborne fiber. Therefore, standard operating procedures of cleaning and precaution steps are important to minimize contamination from any external source to your sample. It's essential to have a good practice to clean and wipe down frequently of your laboratory workspace and work within a laminar flow cabinet when possible. Wearing a proper lab coat, for example, a cotton material lab coat is also very important before your analysis start. All your glassware should be washed by using the ionized water or molecule water before you can use. The pure now red powder will be supplied in the equipment kit. And before your sample process begins, you need to prepare it into the liquid form. In order to fill the sample, the filter equipment you have received include filter funnel and flask, filter membrane and tweezer. After collecting your sample, it needs to be dried out until it reaches a constant weight. This can be done in a laboratory oven, for example. After the drying process, any microplastic in the sample are extracted by a density separation method in the sediments microplastic isolation unit. You now need to weigh your sample on an analytical balance. Unscrew the lower tube.
after you have weighed your sample, put in a suitable density solution, for example, zinc chloride. Turn the unit upside down to mix your sample with the solution. Leave the unit for a sufficient length of time until the solution looks clear. After the extraction process, close the valve carefully and then proceed to filtration procedures. Whether you are dealing with the solutions you have extracted from your solid sample or you have a water sample that you have collected from the river, this is the procedure for both of those samples. To start the filtration procedures, you need to place the filter disc on the support of the filtration set. Remove the film and the lips. Pour the solutions into the filtration funnel. Rinse the headspace several times with millicule water to recover any remaining microplastic particles. Turn on the vacuum pump to allow all the solutions pass through the filter disc. If you have larger volume of water sample, you can use this sort of filtration set. Retrieve the filter disc and apply a suitable digestion method to remove any organic matter if necessary. Filter the solutions and proceed to standing procedures. Notice, I wrap the now red stock solutions in aluminium foil to avoid the exposure of the dough to the light. Dilute 200 microliter of the stock solutions into 20 ml of millicule water.
mix the solutions well. Pour the solutions into the filtration funnel. Let the solution sit into the, in, in the funnel for about 15 minutes to allow a sufficient time for the standing process. After 15 minutes, turn on the vacuum and filter all the solutions in the funnel through the filter disk. Retrieve the filter disk and place it in the filter holder. Is now ready for the imaging process. This is the imaging equipment supplied in the kit box. It includes a laptop, an imaging rig with a control box, a Canon camera with a macro lens, as well as a blue LED light. In order to start the imaging process, turn on all the power. This is the filter disk in the filter holder. And then open two types of the software. One is the Planet CNC software for you to control the imaging rig. Another one is Canon EOS for you to control the, cap the camera. This will allow you to take 24 frames of the separate sections of the filter, which is then reassembled into whole image of the filter. And now you are ready to analyze and interpret the captured image. Good luck! By working through the preparation, extraction, staining and imaging stages, you should now have a set of photographic images showing up the microplastics as bright fluorescent objects. You can analyse these either by manual inspection or by using automated image analysis software. Once you've imaged your sample, you may wish to archive it in a small Petri dish in case you want to return to it later for further analysis. I'd like to wish you the best of luck with your analysis and I hope that the kits work well for you. Measuring the levels of microplastics around the world is vital to our understanding and working out future impacts of these microplastic particles. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please do get in touch with us. Our contact details will be at the end of this video. Your contribution to this project is really vital to its success, so thank you for engaging with it. We really hope that you'll have lots of fun and it will be a big success for you too.